morning. Today is April 27, 2023. Uh, it's a Thursday, and I'm gonna be doing a hiking. Uh, the Bronson Trail State Park. I've been doing this uh, trail many, many times with uh, Splinter and uh, Free Walker, my friends. And now they are actually hiking the Continental Divided Trail. So I'm here alone by myself. I do the hiking here two or three times a week. I haven't done that for the last week. So today I'm going to be doing the recording of the loop. So get let's go in. Let's get started. Uh, this is a 28 and a half pounds backpack. I usually carry about 35 pounds but today is a little bit lighter uh, it's gonna rain in the afternoon so hopefully I get back before it rains and so the loop gonna take about 12 to 13 miles that should take me about five hours to go through the loops at uh, two and a half miles per hour with small breaks all right so let's get going so uh, this is uh, Seminole Range Trailhead. So usually people who go to Orlando Wetlands Park, they park over there. Pretty crowded over there, but over here, the parking lot over here is pretty empty. Probably, mo mostly, probably for the hikers. Uh, okay, so let's get going. So I'm gonna walk toward the Orlando, Orlando Wetlands Park. So here, Orlando Wetlands Park. Take about a mile, a mile and a quarter, to walk to uh, Orlando Wetlands Park before we get to the Bronson State Park Trail. It's beautiful here, early in the morning. Got the alligator walking across the road. for the last few days so it's gonna be a lot of insect mosquitoes and ticks so I need to uh, spray I need to spray to spray on, uh, on my clothes my uh, skin my leg my foot one mile. Now here is Orlando Wetlands. Wetlands. Now I'm gonna cross into uh, Bronson State Park on the other side. Cross through here. To the Bronson State Park. Okay. 
This is the, the borderline. I'm gonna cross into that white trail into Bronson State Park. The boundary, you can see that uh, white line, white blazer, white blaze. So this is the, the boundary, State Park, State Forest, Joe Bronson State Park. So I'm gonna have to climb, walk over the, the step there and into Bronson State Park. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do that. And this is the white trail. Now, the other side is Orlando Wetlands Park. So, there's a white trail. So I'm gonna follow this white trail and eventually you're gonna split into uh, orange, blue trail. All right, let's see here. See the blue, bla uh, white blazer here? The top is left. That means you make a left turn. So you turn to the left at the intersection here. So that one is to the right, and that one's to the left. And the white blazer said that you need to turn left and follow that white blaze. And then you see another one way up there. Just follow the white blaze. Okay, you see that. Uh, the white blaze and the orange blaze. But the orange going that way, heading uh, east. Going down south, heading east. This is the our this is the Florida trail, the orange. And this is the white trail. You see that orange blaze? So the Florida trail actually cut through here and there. And then you're gonna have to climb over the, the boundary line. And if you turn left, you're heading on the Florida trail. And if you go to the white, eventually you're gonna go north and south, actually you're going south. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go take a white trail, go on the loop through the blue and then Eventually, it will connect to the orange. And then come back here. Be careful, man. You fall, that's it. Your history. I don't know how you're going to get out of here if you fall on the on the step here and break your leg. Not going to be a lot of people out here today. So you're on your own. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm going to take the white trail. If I take the orange, eventually I'm going to make a loop all the way back here. So if I go, if I take the white trail, I'm going to go counterclockwise. Same thing. Uh, you gotta be careful of the rain. The boardwalk can be very slippery. You don't be careful, you might fall. And that can be very devastating. Even if it, it has been raining for the last few days or weeks, the creek still is very dry. You don't wanna fall here. It's slippery. Gotta walk very, very slow. It was very windy yesterday, so you can see there's a lot of uh, debris, branches falling off. 
Now, you're gonna make, see that uh, white place? The top is to the right, so you have to make a right turn there. It was very windy and, and rain and hail storm yesterday. And look at that, a tree fell right here on the trail. Ooh. Oh, dried up. The horses here. Hi. Oh, great. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you. Isn't it gorgeous out here? Yeah, it's beautiful. Have a great day. Thanks. Campsite. Now I'm gonna make a right turn into there, take a break for like five minutes and coming out. Remember when you make a right turn into the campsite, when you come out, you also make a right turn. Don't make a left turn, you're going back to where you came from. See that blue mark? That means campsite or water source. I'm gonna take like five minutes break here. Well, when, you, uh, when you sit down on the bench, you want to make sure there's no ticks because if there are ticks on the bench, you sit on it, they're going to get on you. Uh, I really want to make sure there's no tick. Well, there's none. Got to take out my shoes and check to make sure there's no uh, debris splinter in it. Because if there are, I'm going to be in trouble. Looks, looks good. Another one too. All right. No splinter. Five minutes go very fast. Time to oh yeah, there's a, make sure there's no bugs on your on your backpack. Wipe up everything. Since I made the right turn into the campsite, now when I come out, I also make a right turn. Heading that way. All right, I got to the, the white trail and the blue trail. Now here's the white trail, but I'm gonna take the blue trail, which will eventually connect me back to the orange trail. Right there. The blue trail is uh, either a connector, uh, a water source, or a campsite. And in this case, this blue trail, this, this blue blaze, will connect me to the orange trail, which will take me back to the white trail and back to the Orlando wetlands. Thank you. 
Right, so here's the blue trail, and that's the orange. North, east. But I'm gonna make a left turn to complete the loop back to the Orlando uh, wetlands. Joshua Creek trailhead. All right, so I'm gonna make a left turn right here and follow the orange back to the white trail. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tree fell down, blocking the, the trail. Can't go through it, can I? Oh boy. Oh yeah, I gotta go through it. She. Oh boy. Gotta go through here. Don't know. Right, I'm gonna have to go through this. Yep, just have to climb through it, crawl through it. All right, here's another Joshua Creek campsite. So I'm gonna make a right turn in here, take a break, five minutes break, and then move on again. Probably about seven or eight miles. I think seven miles so far. So I got another six miles to go. Oh. Huh. Well, there are people camping here, so I better keep moving. New parts got replaced. Just a quick trail head. I'm heading this way. Burn control. Christmas Creek. Burn campsite. Right, I'm gonna go here, take a quick break, and then I got half another two and a half miles to go. That'll take me another hour. Tree fell. Whew.
Okay, I'm back to the to the white trail, which I uh, this is the white trail that I we came early. Now from here to Orlando Wetlands, it'll be one mile, and then from Orlando Wetlands, go to the parking lot at the Seminole Seminole Ranch uh, Trail Head. It's gonna be another mile, so I have two miles to go from here to there, and that will be. That will complete my loop. Back to Orlando Wetlands Park. All right, I'm back to Orlando Wetlands Park. Just in time to pick up my daughter, and it is about to rain. Perfect timing, 2.30. I cover about 13 miles. Heading back to my truck. All right, I'm done.